Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm up in Glencoe today. As you probably saw from the opening shot, it's a bit kind of dull and overcast. So yeah, I thought I'd work with the conditions today. It's quite grey and sombre looking. So I'm going to try and do some either black and white um, panoramas using the tilt shift or possibly some kind of muted coloured moody quite dramatic panoramas using the tilt shift so I only have that and the wide angle 16 to 35 mil lens with me today so I'm quite restricted in what I can do so uh, it's a challenge right so let's see if we can create anything so in terms of uh, time of day it's I think yeah the sun's just about to rise you can see just a little, little hint of colour off to the east there but not much it's also freezing I'm gonna to have to look at my gloves <laughs> left them in the bag so I'm heading up for the first location of the day I'm heading up to the study where I'm hoping to have a panorama involving the the three sisters, perhaps but Jan and Ben if it decides to come out of the out of the clouds and I'm hoping because of the time of day that once the sun has risen above the bank of clouds off to the off to the east we might get just little patches of light hitting the mountains over there so that's a theory anyway. This is actually my second location of the, the morning. Um, my original plan was to stop off at the start of Glen Etive and get the old classic shot with the, the booklet of Moor and the waterfall. Uh, but Glen Etive's closed for some reason, so if you know why that is, leave me a comment below, will you? Because uh, that kind of ruined my plans a wee bit. And we have just a little hint of snow on the higher peaks, and if you look just up there, a little bit of colour starting to form above the ridge. So, I'm hoping that we might get some, some nice light this morning. Now this is a classic view isn't it? And you know what, I don't think I've ever actually photographed this particular viewpoint. Normally I photograph from up at the study there, but the problem with that is you've got the road running through the image, whereas here you don't actually have the road. Right, I'm wondering if this little boggy patch and that slightly green rock there might make for an interesting foreground with the, the mountains beyond. Still no great light, but as I said, I think I'm, I'm going for moody today anyway, so. Uh, that might make a good shot. There's also a, a past 
see it there. A larger bog area just here. I wonder if that might be a better foreground. If I can get round to the other side. Oh yeah, that's a wee bit more dramatic, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. So again, probably another another panorama using the tilt shift. I'm not quite sure the tilt shift will be wide enough though. So I may have to swap over for the, the 16 to 35 mil lens, but perhaps if I get just a little bit further back, I might be able to get it all in. That's nice though, isn't it? What we really need is just a little hint of light on one or more of those mountains. And that would be lovely. I'll set up the camera. As you can see here from the east, we do have some light. The sun's obviously rising. But we have some light here. But it's not quite, it's not quite kissing these mountains just yet. But I'm going to set up, set up a, another panorama and see if we can, if we can make an image out of this. And I think it might just be a waiting game to see what happens with, with the light. But I like that as a composition. Right, yeah, I've had to come back a bit. The tilt shift lens that I've got just isn't wide enough to include those um, pools of water and the mountains. So I've come back a bit, but in doing so, I've kind of lost the best angle on that uh, pool of water. So I think this might actually be a job for the 16 to 35 millimeter lens rather than the tilt shift. So I'm just waiting. As you can see, it's starting to look quite dramatic back there. I'm just waiting to see if we get any better light because that is starting to to change back there. Yeah, that looks better with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, I've taken probably four exposures ranging from about half of a second up to uh, about um, one hundredth of a second because as you can see it's starting to get quite light over there now but this foreground's still very dark so I'm having to bracket the exposures quite a bit I love that little patch of light just hitting the top of the ridge there um, don't know if I'll be able to include that in the shot but I like that that's the first direct sunlight we've had this morning and the Jannam Bain is just starting to to peek out from behind the clouds as well. So that's nice. So yeah the the tilt shift lens was just not wide enough to get this entire scene in. But uh, I think I will move over this side and shoot directly across this pond now. I'll obviously I'll lose the mountains here but I might gain that little patch of light just to see if there's a if there's a shot there.
Right, I've taken this shot with a 16 to 35 mil lens. Um, I've just noticed in the very far end of the glen, there's direct sunlight starting to hit some of the some of the mountains. So what I'm going to go do now is just to climb up onto this rocky outcrop just above the study, and uh, that'll give me a view directly down the glen towards. Uh, the loch and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it also involves including the the main road. We'll see what we can do about that. But I'm hoping that if the light's hitting that hill there, <laughs> then it's only a matter of time before it hits these and the ridge. I was forced to change uh, camera bags this week. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not going to be one of those what's in my camera bag videos. But. Uh, my old camera bag, which I've had for many years, uh, decided that <laughs> all the, the zips into the back compartment came off at the same time. So, well, the bag itself is still in perfectly good condition. <laughs> I can't get in it. So, I've, I had a spare bag anyway. Uh, it's one of those, I think I got it free with a lens many years ago. But uh, I can't remember where I've put half the things. <laughs> Have you ever done that? <laughs> I transferred everything over from one bag to another. And uh, I know I've got some filters in there. And I know my gloves are in there. But short of ripping everything out of the bag, I can't find anything. So oh, yeah, as you can see, the the problem with this viewpoint is that you've got the road snaking its way down through the image. Uh, also, personally, I don't really like including that building there, but it needs must. Right, my success. <laughs> While I was waiting for the light to improve, I ripped the camera bag apart and uh, found my filters, and more importantly, found the gloves. So, waiting's going to be that wee bit better now. Well, the clouds are certainly shifting. But it's still not bringing much in the way of light to, to the scene. It doesn't look as if it's getting any brighter, it looks as if it's getting darker. So, uh, this might be the best of the light. And that's not saying much. Ooh. <laughs> right, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Um, the wind's really started to pick up and the weather's closing in quite quickly. Um, the, the mist is, is falling quite, quite quickly into the glen <laughs> and the temperature's dropped quite a bit. And we have what looks like the start of some snow flurries at the other end of the glen. So uh, I might hang about for a wee bit longer. <laughs> so I'm going to head back, kind of retrace my steps back towards the, the car. I'll keep an eye on the, the condition, so if it does improve, then hopefully I'll be able to snap something but it's not looking, I was going to say it's not looking good, but it's actually looking very good, look. So it's looking good, but conditions aren't great for the kind of photographs I was hoping to take. Oh, oh, oh. it's uh, freezing and uh, yeah, it's the rain and sleet on now. Heading back down towards the car, so that may well be it for this video. I like this little bridge, and it's got not a bad view.
Whew, that was a wild. Right, I've made it back to the car. So that's it for today's walk, I think. The weather's really turning quite bad now, so I'm gonna try and get down the road. Gonna stop off for a bite of breakfast, because everything's been done in an empty stomach today. Uh, I'm pretty famished now, so I'm gonna stop off for some breakfast, and then I'll, I'll head back down the road to Glasgow. Hope you enjoyed, give us a little thumbs up if you did, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.